Hello, this is Mike K0NGA, and this video will demonstrate the channel import and export features of the Connect Systems software. So this is a video that I've been teasing for a while, and unfortunately had some travel uh, that I had to do for business and never got around to it. Finally have some, day, some time today on Father's Day uh, to do this because things have finally calmed down a little bit. So, uh, spent some time with the family yesterday, don't worry, um, but uh, today I am making this video. So let's get to it. So what you're looking at here is the ARMHAM sample code plug. I always like to use these because they are very, very helpful, and it gives you kind of an idea of the power of this particular feature. So you, the first thing you do, obviously, then is, is load a code plug. It has to have channels in it, and our code plug has both analog, a bunch of analog and a bunch of digital channels. So it has a good number of both. You find the export feature under tools. So you go to tools and export channels. It's as easy as that. You choose a location, give it a name, and it does an exp it, does, it exports the channels out. Now you do have to have Microsoft Excel for this to work, unfortunately. Uh, but if you, if you have a version of Excel and use this feature, it is fantastic. And when you export the channels, it looks like this. So this is a lot of information on the screen, uh, but what you're looking at is the analog channel section, okay? There's also a digital channel section and a different worksheet inside the spreadsheet, and that looks like that. It's as simple as that. Now, what can you do with this? Well, there's lots of things you can do. Obviously, you can add channels and then re-import. That's pretty straightforward. But you can also make a bulk edit, which is one of the things that I found that I needed to do uh, because of the way that we set the transmit admit setting on the original sample code plug back in the day. So if we scroll all the way over here, here's the transmit admit column here, and you notice that everything is set to always allow. Right? Now, when we first set this up, we set this up as channel free. And when we did that, we discovered that the repeater tail would qualify as channel busy and so none of the people that were using connects no, the, using our sample code plugs on an analog channel could get a word in edgewise because other people would transmit before the repeater tail dropped and they could never get into the repeater so we had to change this back to always allow so the quickest way to do this is let's say that uh, if for this example i wanted to change everything back to channel free so here's what i do i do one channel is channel free and um Excel has a feature where you can do a copy, uh, like a copy down. So I can go down here and select the entire column like that. And I'm going to do a copy down, which is control D and boom, all of my channels are now set to channel free. I save this, uh, again, keeping in mind where it's saved and what the file name is. I then go back to my software and then go to tools, import channels. Pointed at the at the, the the channel list, and it pulls all the channels back in, overriding what's in there. And now all my channels are set to channel free instead of always allow. And then of course you can reverse the process to go back to always allow. So what the point here being is that you can use the spreadsheet to make a bulk edit of a whole bunch of channels at once without having to go down into here, clicking a channel, going over to here, scrolling down. Change the, cha the channel free, go to the next one, channel free. This is a tedious process, all right? Instead of doing that a whole bunch of times, you just export it, do a bulk edit in uh, Excel, and then re-import. So that's cool. Some things to be aware of when you do this. If we go back to the spreadsheet real quick, there are some things you have to be careful of. For instance, there are things, uh, if, you, if you watched my uh, basic editing video, there are some things that you have to set up before you can start editing channels. Uh, most notably, and most importantly, there is the, on the digital side, this is more of a digital thing, uh, you need to set up your talk groups and your receive groups, okay? So for your receive here, one of the uh, sections that you have to worry about is the receive group list. So for your receive side, you have to choose a receive group list. Now, if you in your spreadsheet, if you have a receive group list name in there, and that receive group does not exist, 
in your code plug, this will be blank and it won't be set to anything and it won't work. It's the same thing for the transmit group or the transmit contact, right? The uh, talk group that you want to transmit on, same thing. If you have a code plug that doesn't have that particular talk group name set up in the code plug already, when you import it, the, top, the transmit contact will be left blank and nothing will work. So you still have to go into your code plug before you import, set up your talk groups, make sure your names match what's in your spreadsheet, set up your receive groups with your talk groups in them, make sure that your receive group names match what's in the spreadsheet, and then import them. Now, the good news is, is that if you do an import and you have a whole bunch of channels that are blank because you either didn't have the receive group or the talk group in there or you misspelled it somehow, it's very, very simple to fix. You just correct the issue, go back and add that talk group or receive group or both or change the name and make sure it matches. Then you just re-import and then everything will match up and everything will be great. So that's actually a really, a really, really good thing. Now, speaking of, if we go back to the software real quick, uh, I know this question is going to come up, and so I'm going to answer it. Uh, can you export the receive groups? No, you cannot. The only things that you can import and export in Connect Systems are the channels and the contact list. So you can import and export the contact list. So if we go down to DMR services, and here's our contact list, you can uh, export and import your contact list. What I recommend is that you keep your talk groups at the top of the list and then put your contacts at the bottom of the list. This helps keep the software from getting confused when you import a new list and helps them uh, rematch up your talk groups uh, uh, to your channels uh, where the channels are set uh, a lot easier. Now, those of us th that are thinking ahead, you're thinking right. So if you import a contact list, and it messes up your digital channels. So if we go down to channels here into the digital, right? If you if the if the import messes things up, what you'll see is that here again, this is Rocky Mountain. This is one of the RM Ham uh, talk groups. You'll see it set to some random uh, text con uh, transmit contact like this. And you'll say, oh, and you look at all your channels, and all the channels are all messed up. So if you've made a previous channels list export. All you do is then re-import your channels from the spreadsheet and it'll get re reset back correctly. So that's, again, a nice feature to have in this software because I have another vendor that I have radios for, who I won't mention, that you can import and export the contact list but not the channels list. And the import always messes up the transmit uh, settings on the digital channel. So every time I do a mass import, I have to go back and fix all the channels and it is a pain in the neck. With the channel export and import, it makes fixing that very, very quick. So that is the import export feature uh, in the Connect System software. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email. And uh, if I get it frequently enough or it's something that is uh, notable enough, of course, I'll make another video and uh, explain how that works. Thanks for watching my video and have a good rest of your day.